Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lena. Thought I'd go ahead and film this haul video um, all in one. This is from Falling Prices. It's a store that takes a lot of overstock from different stores or things that aren't selling at the store or old kind of things. What I mean by old is like they have a lot of Christmas decorations and Halloween items still. Um, so pretty much, you know, it's no longer that season or holiday. So it's overstock. It's, you know, not needed in their stores. So it's called Falling Prices. Um, every day is a different price. They're open Tuesday through Saturday. Tuesdays are the first day of that new week because Sunday and Monday is when they overstock the entire store. Um, but Tuesdays are $6, Wednesdays are $4, Thursdays are $2, Fridays are $1, Saturdays are 25 cents because it's pretty much, let's get rid of what we have left. Um, I do really, really, really enjoy the store. The best day, of course, to go is Tuesday because I just went yesterday, which was Tuesday. And um, again, like I said, they stocked up Sunday and Monday. So it was a lot of new goodies there. And the other days that I went, Thursday, Fridays, or Saturdays, it was leftovers. So I really just found phone cases and little items. But Tuesday... They had blankets, pillows, um, kids' clothes, electronic items, and so on. Like, my grandma, she went with me yesterday, and she found a curling iron for $6, brand new, in the box. Um, yesterday, I found some shoes, because I have really been coming up on shoes, mainly, and phone cases. Um, I have about maybe six or more phone cases. Me and my boyfriend both have the same phone, so plain ones or guy-looking ones, of course, those are his. Um, but let me just go ahead and get started. So, and all of these shoes mainly are size 11, which is a little more, or a little higher than my usual size, because I could do about nine and a half to a 10, but I'm not, you know, gonna complain because it's still gonna be fun. So I found these cute white sandals. Okay, so again, a lot of the items are from Target, a new day. So yeah, just simple, cute. I cannot wait for the spring and summer. I just can't. Then I found this Casa Luna temperature balancing pillowcase set so just you know little standard pillows um type pillow set then i also found these from shade and shore these are size 10 again cute sandals orange light pink and then now these ones, I'm like, mm, I don't know. Um, people are saying those are currently in, they're cute, blah, blah, blah. I think they're cute, but I think they're old looking at the same time. Yeah. Uh, these are 11 and these are from Target, a new day. So yeah, never worn, brand new. And that's for everything pretty much. Then I found these ones as well. Again, 11. And these are from, oh, right here. Universal Thrift, Target again. Or Walmart, they could have been from either one. But yeah, thought they were very different. And yeah, it's giving me that material from like those um, baskets. Do you know what I'm talking about? Anyways, then I found this game, which would be great to add to our um, game collage for game nights. This is WTF. Uh, it is an adult game, the Wicked Party game for adults who should know better. Ages 18 and up. And says three players. So yeah, excited to play that on our game night. Then I found... This Elo Smoothie Approved Glass Cup. Of course, on the top. I love the little straw hole there because I did come across some straws. 
which are currently in my dishwasher. I found some shawls, colorful, has the little rubber tips, um, all metal, silver, and then other ones are kind of like a chrome, green, blue, purplish color, and of course it comes with a straw cleaner. So yeah, it was a pack of six straw, seven straws, but one was missing, so I got six. Anyways, so this glass cup here, which I think it's so cute, I had to get the pink because I have a blue water bottle already and the other color was blue, but I was like, you know what? Let's get some pink. Then, of course, some little Fanny Whites. Another pack of Fanny Whites. Then I found this Zodiac journal calendar book. And I thought it was so pretty. So, I'm not a big journalist, but I can get into it. You know what I mean? I might just leave this at work or I might just leave it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. But anyways, I like it because it has the calendar 2022 and then some of 2023. So, it looks like it goes to April 2023. Um, it's pretty much affirmations that you write yourself um gratitudes so it says here i am grateful for and it gives you little areas to write it out which i really do like that my daily rituals they have blank pages for vision boards um then it goes into pretty much calendars and weeks and yeah I really like it like I said I'm not big on journals or calendars but hey why not try I used to write a lot when I was younger so years years ago but yeah I just I really liked it of course because it's rose gold but caught my attention and I thought it's only 25 cents. I know I got that on a Saturday. Um, then I found these cup masks, protectors. I guess they sit around the mouth so the mask isn't touching your lips exactly. Mask hack, mask bracket. Came in a set of five. I did put one in my boyfriend's mask that I got him. Then I found a New Day Big Head um, headband. <laughs> um, I can put this on when I'm doing my makeup, when I'm washing my face in the morning, or just when I need my hair out of my face. Uh, this was one of the phone cases that I found. Also came with this pop socket. I really love the blue and the holographic glitters, stars, and so on. And then, like I said, it came with this pop socket, so I attached it. Then I found, which I do have this body scrub. Um, I don't know the scent of the body scrub off the top of my head, but I do know that it's from the Sage brand, Beloved. This is the Cranberry and Orange Flower Body Cream. It smells so good. They had a whole bucket of beauty stuff. Like this scent mainly, um, I think it might have had some holiday scents because I did find some Method Hollyberry hand soap. So I do have them in the hall closet. Excuse me. I also found a Spring Ever, I think is the brand from Target, Spring Ever um, dish soap. So I found that. Another foam case that I came across, which I love. Of course, look at gold, black, and leopard. This is me in a foam case. Found that. Um, the first time I went, I found a heavy weighted blanket that's currently on the bed. It's gray and it kind of has a Sherpa on one side and then it's just soft, excuse me, soft material on the other, but it feels like somebody is cuddling with you anytime that you use that blanket. Um, let's see what else. Then I bought this gray blanket that's a throw right here just to kind of put on the couch and then I did find these orange pillows for the couch. Um, it came in a set of two. What else did I find? I found some allergenic sheets 
if that makes sense. Um, yeah. And again, phone cases, but those are in the room tucked away. Then I found this. It's a New Day brand, of course. Um, but I didn't know if it was a wallet or what. But then I ended up finding out that it's actually a glasses case. So you pretty much open it, put your glasses, and then bam. I liked it. I was like, okay, cool. I can deal with it. I've been trying to use more smaller purses, so this isn't going to really fit unless I use one of my tote bags or backpacks or something like that. But I was like, you know what? Cool. I like it. Then I did find some jewelry. These little gold earrings. Thick oval shaped new day and again a new day these small ones i'm gonna see if they fit in my second holes and then just some more rings here not rings earrings um but yeah just more rounded ones here and then as you see it has like three three layers <laughs> but yeah thought they were simple and cute and you know i gotta go for the gold oh this was one <laughs> So I found other straws too, and it came in a pack of two. So this is one of the straws, a little rubber tip. But look at this. Yes, I love it. So if you're ever needing a straw, you're good to go. Um, I don't know. I think it's in one of my purses. But it pretty much came with a little container that you can close and has your straw in there. It did come with one of the washing bristles and the little container that it holds it has a clip so you can put it on your keychain on your purse on your backpack on anything and you're good like i said sometimes you need a straw on the go so i love it but this is the second one so that straw is still <laughs> in one of my purses but anyways yeah came with two um what else did i get from falling prices black boots I did get black boots. Um, they are a ankled kind of rain boot material, that hard fake leather. Um, I want to say that they're from Target again. Um, they are very comfortable because I only have pretty much one pair of rain boots and they're night knee highs and yeah, I was like, okay, I'm wearing those out. I've been having those for probably two going on three years already. I need a different pair so I got those I was like oh simple cute ankle I've been on this ankle boot hook um hook little hype sorry little hype and let's see what else did I find oh I did find a NYX foundation drop makeup bottle thingy I did find a I think I showed it in my makeup video which was my last video um a stick foundation in a darker color but i've been using it now for a cream contour love it it's so good it blends so easily like I, mm. anyways found that um oh found aurora and quiet eucalyptus spearmint scented body wash and body lotion in the same scent oh my god i swear it's like the aromatherapy line from bath and body it just is so relaxing and cooling and it's just so nice like oh i'm obsessed when i smell my boyfriend when he comes out of the shower using that and oh i just love to use it sometimes after work just turn on the hot shower let the steam get up and then just oh lather up with that it's amazing uh, what else did I find? Oh yeah, okay, so I found some watch bands for my boyfriend. I found a dark kind of green color, just like the blanket, and then a dark burgundy, which he loves burgundy. Um, what else did I find? I found, ooh, a pore cleaner, like an electric suction little thingy, which I did use only once so far. Um, uh, I don't want to use it too often, but it cleaned the blackheads from my nose like 
Mm. It has, I think, three or four different levels of suction. Um, I put it on the highest one because my nose and pore area here, the T-zone, are really, really bad with blackheads. And it was just... <sighs> loved it. Um, so it works really well and it came with three different heads that you can you know change out wash clean and so on so I was happy when I found that I did find a rubber kind of ear cleaner that had two different heads it had like a little bristle then it had like a little screwdriver looking one that you twist in your ear anyways it was a good cleaner um, I found that and then what else I think that's pretty much it um, like I said I found more shoes and phone cases and some house decor kind of things over everything but like I said Sunday and Monday is the days that they restock you have to be there Tuesday um, the hours are always 10 to 6 during Wednesdays and Fridays but Saturdays it gets a little tricky it's 10 to 2 on the hours when you look for the store but the times that we went there, they closed at 12 or they stopped letting people in at 12. So it gets a little tricky. So now when we decide to go, we always go and get there by 940 at the latest, just so we know, you know, we're going to be in the store. And plus people, of course, line up and all of that stuff. But it goes by pretty fast and you're in the store pretty much by 10.03. Um... But yeah, and I will add um, a little clip of when I went Saturday, no, when, when I went Saturday, because it was busy. And trust when you go, depending on the stores, because when I went yesterday, it was probably about seven or eight people in there, and it wasn't as crowded as it usually is, which surprised me, because it was the first day that it opened on Tuesday. So all new stuff. Um, and it was not crowded. So Saturday when I went, I was getting bumped into. Some people were apologizing for it. Some people were just continuing. Some people were tossing stuff. Some people were just throwing everything in their bucket or basket or bags and just going. And the line was all around the store. It was, it was just ridiculous. Um, but I will enter that clip here. But besides that, I hope you guys do look to see if you have a store in your area or find one go it's well worth it and i hope you guys did enjoy so please comment like share and subscribe